for the movie Troll Hunter, a movie I have been waiting to see since I heard of his existence. And some of you are probably like, why did this man just yell troll? And what is this Troll Hunter? Or as some people might know it, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Troll Hegerin. Troll, yeah. So this is a movie, yeah, I've been waiting a long, 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 long time to see. Um, it's one of those shaky cam movies. Uh, it takes place in Norway. So way, way out there, you know. And it's kind of like Cloverfield is what it's been being compared to. But only in the way like that there's giant shit and you have a camera and there's people there. And it's grounded in a, like in a reality, we'll say. Grounded. <laughs> Uh, so, what really separates this, though, from, uh, the Shiki Cam movie that you guys have probably seen, you know, is that those usually have, like, some sort of plot to them. This is more in the style of, like, a mockumentary, I would say. Like, just because, well, you learn about the characters and everything, and you learn about these trolls, and, like, it moves along at a decent pace, but, like, there's no, like, real stories, and there's no, like, I mean, you learn secrets and things, like, are spilled out to you, but, like, it's not in the way like, oh my god, he's gonna betray him, and he's, like, it's just this film crew is uh, a couple college students, and they see that there's, like, these bear killings happening, and that there's a poacher going around, and they find this guy who really stinks, and he's weird, and they're like, I think this is the bear killer we're looking for, and they bug him, and bug him, and bug him, and he comes up, and he's like, I don't have bear, I'm troll. And they're like, Haha, <laughs> you're troll hunter? No way. But, boy, do they get their shit rocked and find out that there's a thing called trolls and we need people like this guy to protect us and save these trolls. Like, it's the movie's very, very weird. Like, you have to be ready for some weird stuff to be explained to you, but it's really cool if you can get into this. Like, they, when they find this troll hunter, it's just, it's following a guy around doing his job. And it's really, really intense at times, and all the special effects are just, they're great. Like, I mean, these are trolls, so, like, they're supposed to look weird and, like, gross. So, they did a great job with that. Um, one thing I would really, like, give this movie, like, some big points is that they took something that everyone is familiar with, a troll, right? Everyone knows what a troll is. It's this, like, weird little guy, right? And in this movie, they're like, eh, yeah, it's... I mean, they kind of live under a bridge, except that they can be up to 200 feet tall. Like, they have kind of nods in this movie to, like, old-school trolls. Like, oh, yeah, there's reports of these, because they think they're bears that they're looking for, that these bears, these Russian bears, are hiding their food under a bridge. You know, like, kind of funny stuff like that. This movie, like, has a way about it. Like, I mean, like... Uh, there's one scene where there's a fart joke, but it's well played, you know. I mean, you can kind of imagine, like, think this movie about trolls, there's a fart joke. Yeah, let's put one and one together here. It's a good one. But, uh, yeah, this movie's pretty funny at points, but I really appreciate it from this movie. Like, like a documentary, it really tried to give me information about these things. It, like, told me, like, how they get affected by, like, light, which is something that really hurts them like, what happens to their body internally when light is flashed upon them, like, their organs expand, like, really, like, weird stuff, and, like, really crazy stuff can happen to them, um, but when they give these facts like this, and, like, really, like, try and reel it and ground it in reality, which is the whole point of these movies, that really make these shaky cam movies strong, is when you try and ground in reality, so they give these facts, and it's, excuse me, <clears throat> it stops you from getting bored, um, special effects in this movie, top notch. I mentioned it. Uh, director Andre Orvidal. Let me... Andre Orvidal. I don't know. It's a weird Norwegian name. He did a great job. This is his concept and wow. This guy nailed it. I know that I think they're trying to redo this here. I really hope that they get this guy's input if they want to make a remake in English. But um, I think that this like being, like, in Norwegian, like, with the subtitles really helped it, like, stay realistic. And actors that you've never seen before who are good, or at least decent, 
can make it so much more believable than you can imagine. Because, like, think about it. If it's Brad Pitt and, like, George Clooney and all these other fucking people that you recognize, you're like, okay, well, there's Brad Pitt and he's talking to George Clooney about how they're going to stop the troll. But when you see these guys, you're like, okay, it's that character, it's that guy. It's one of the reasons why I love District 9 so much. It's because you see this character for the first time in this environment, and you're like, wow, this is super believable. But the next time you see him, hey, it's that guy from District 9 being awesome again. Um, I want to see this movie again, I think. Because uh, although everything was really solid about it, it's subtitled in Norwegian. So if I miss some word or something, I have no idea what they're saying, because... Like, Norwegian is one of those crazy, like, like, whoa, like, but nevertheless, that didn't take anything away from me. Uh, I was expecting something different, like something that would have had a plot, you know, but I really love the way that this one, it went such a weird direction and just makes it stand out so much more, just makes me love it so much more. And one thing that hurts the film, but as well as works with it, is that it's edited terribly. But the thing is that it opens up with a thing saying there was 280 minutes of footage found and they found that it was real, but they're saying that this was roughly edited into about like 90 minutes. And there's enough surprises here that'll keep you interested. Uh, this is going to have to go on like the lower, but it nevertheless is really damn good. Really enjoyed this. Um... I think that most people who can, like, get their head around the idea of this movie will go in really excited and they'll leave this movie satisfied. So, that's really damn good. I liked it a lot. So, write things. Tell me that I suck. Uh, subscribe. And uh, see you guys later. I'm still trying to get in my rec review, but I'm going to try and do it this week. And next movie I'm going to see is Horrible Bosses. So, let's catch you all on the flip side with my finger in 3D.